Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. Today we'll be talking about the area of a circle. Well, we'll not be talking about the area of a circle, which is pi r square, but we're going to talk about why is the area of a circle pi r square. So we have the circle here on the left, and we're going to divide it into these triangular sections. Now, just for your information, the more sections you add, the more precise the area would be as these cutout sections would become less and it would make the area more precise. And this length is the radius and we're going to denote it as R. And just as a reminder, the perimeter of a circle is 2 pi R. And so I just added the numbers to these triangles. So I took 10 triangles for the circle. And when I half this circle, just to remember, half the circle will have a perimeter of pi r. Similarly, the other half will also have a perimeter of pi r. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to shift it and expand it. So it will look like something like that. We're going to line this up. And just remember, this line, the straight line above, equals pi r. That's the perimeter. And then I'm going to take 6, 7, 8, 9 and place it alongside these triangles. Only 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to think about 10 later on. As you can see, this length on the side is the radius, which is r, and the top length, as mentioned before, is pi r. Now, what happened to 10? With 10, we're going to divide it into two parts, 10a and 10b. And what we're going to do is place them on both sides to, com to form a rectangle. As you can see right now, it's a trapezoid, and we're going to create a rectangle. So 10a goes on the left there, 10b goes on the right, and you can see it creates a rectangle. So from the circle, we created a rectangle. And we can see that the length of a rectangle is pi r, and the width is r. And so the area of this rectangle made from the circle is pi r times r, which is pi r squared. And that's how we get the area of the circle. Thank you.